hello hello welcome back everyone so today i'm going to share with you guys how you can actually stop uh, most of the spam bot without you doing anything it will automatically auto ban and stop any of the bots and any spam messages from being shown in your chats so firstly i want to show you guys there's two things that i will show you guys one is the built-in function in twitch itself that i think many people don't realize it and then the second one is a third party bot that can really help you to auto ban and stop spam messages from coming into your chats so let, first let's see the one in the in twitch first go to your front page channel like this right this is your channel and then you click on your icon and then go to your creator dashboard from here firstly i would just want to put this out if you are just starting and you might not know this the first thing that you can do is go to your setting and then go to your moderation and over here you can have this auto mode you can click on this and then you can um so this is new because i'm using my second account just to do this tutorial so you can turn on auto mode so once you turn on auto mode you can do all this one depending on what kind of streaming you have so you can put all this to how much filter filtering it is you can go to the chat verification and follower verification but i don't really put this verified phone number because i'm pretty sure uh, a lot of viewers actually just use twitch just to view stream so they might not have a they might not share their phone number with twitch so this one i usually orbit but i will show you later on when you can uh on this set uh on this setting when you got follow bots uh you can add your rules over here and um that's about it i think for now just when you're beginning that's what you should do and then after that i want to go i want you to go to your stream manager then i want you to go down here your feed might look a little bit different for me i think this is the basic one so you can go down here all the way down here and then you will see this shield icon and it says turn on shield mode if you make a setting for it whenever you on stream you can just go here and turn on the shield mode if you feel like you're getting follow bot but before that we need to set it up you go to chat setting and then uh, you look up shield mode so you click on the little arrow over here and it will pop up a new window like this this is where uh, it's important for you to set this up so whenever you get follow bot then you can or you get hit rate like i said <laughs> and then you can turn on the shield mode on what you want to do is it will only be applied when shield mode is active which you can turn on either over here on the shield mode page or you can turn it through the shortcut in your twist chat over here what you want to do is you may be the one if you're getting hit rate right you don't want any first time chat because you don't know they, did they come from the hit rate or not so you can put this on and then you can put emote only chat and followers only chat only person that followed you for like one month one day one week one month so not somebody that's just recently follow you so you can put all this on and over here is the chat verification you can say all chatter must have verified email and then also all chatters must have verified phone number and then for follower verification same thing phone verification all user must have verified once you've done all this it's auto safe okay i will say <laughs> so let's say you are streaming and then suddenly you get follow bot you can just turn on click on there and you turn it on and now shield mode is on only your audience like for me is only uh, emote only and then one month followers only that can chat over here this is what you can do to deal with the damage if it already comes in but the thing is you can stop this from coming in right away even before it started by using another third party bot called Sari bot so if you guys don't know Sari bot is very very helpful i'm only using Sari bot actually uh, for my um, security purpose 
So let's see Ch 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 Cherry Boy before that I change, I change this one first. I'm sorry guys. <laughs> I think I trip on my words for so many times because I just wake up actually. <laughs> uh, go to your chat and then over here in your chat, right? In your chat space, you type in, you have to make Cherry Boy as one of the mod in your chat. So to make that, you slash mod. And then you put in Sari underscore bot. Okay. So now Sari bot is already your mod. Now second thing what you have to do is you go to Sari bot. I'm going to open it in a new tab I think. Let's go twitch.tv. And then you find in Sari underscore bot. Okay, so that's the first one the first result over here just go over here they already share what you have to do to get this mod to join to get this area bot to join your chats put on the command join just the exclamation mark join and it will tell you uh, this one where you have to authorize seri bot first just click on the link and then it will open up a new tab you have to of course authorize all these things so click on authorize we need to click on join again we have to click on join again and that's it uh, you are done you have seri bot in your chats there's one more thing that i will suggest for you to do which is uh do the follow band the follow band what uh what follow band will do is seri bot will block immediately any known bot that's already they have their data right so so that's the bot accounts in their list so they will block all this so they never come to your stream okay now we type follow ban follow bot protection enable okay so that's it that's all you have to do it's so easy it's so quick and simple all right guys that's it for this video i hope you guys learned something today and it helps you let me know if you guys want to know anything else about streaming setup or any other tutorial regarding how you can start on your stream bye have a good day